Right. Shalom. I'm going to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, and Kakwadash. I want to say double honors and give double honors to the apostles and the bishop, elders of great millstone for teaching us this word and truth and sincerity for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe. Preaching and prophesying and believing in the name of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah. Hey, I'm my brother Kabari Yahweh from GMS Hawaii. Coming to you with another quick lesson. And it's on this video that you just saw playing in front of you. This this video that you see right here, this is actually uh Philadelphia. You know, to uh I take it was a day and I'm I'm currently in the city of Philly. I did not get to see these military vehicles moving down Center City, but um this is not a everyday common occurrence. Then they could have been on a mission. Things could have been happening. Or they just could be preparing for what's, hap what's, what's about to happen to this, in this country. Which there will be uh, uh, martial law instilled in this country. There will be uh, um, checkpoints. There will also be closures. There also going to be uh, hell, and hot, hell in these streets, man. You know? And, you know, seeing military uh, tanks and units... And your different these different major cities is going to be an everyday occurrence, okay? It's going to be a common cons uh, occurrence here. Why? Because this is part of the NWO plan. You know they know you people are not going to go quietly. They know it's going to be a lot of people that's going to try to fight against the system. That's going to try to fight against the, uh, you know the measures that they're going to put onto the people. And right along with these military uh, personnel and vehicles being a common occurrence, you also going to have, um concentration camps where they're going to be putting people in all right and a lot of these cities especially these major cities such as philadelphia they're going to be locked down you're not going to be able to go from one portion of the city to the next man so this is just a precursor to things to come and i um this is also inspired slack here so again uh these uh this is going to be a common occurrence and you know you people need to understand so again this was uh, inspired by I was looking at some of these, uh, some of these, uh, what do you call it? These comments. Like you got this one here, the CBC, CBDC will be ushered in when there is a bank failure. EMP USA made, uh, says it could happen around the 4th of July. Oh yeah, it's coming. So people in the world, they know that something is, is looming, <laughs> impending danger. And then somebody had said, uh. You know, this is the finale to the movie. It says people are getting ready for the finale of the movie. And that's what I was going to title this lesson. Because this movie is about to have a finale. This portion of the movie. The, the world of the Edomites. And it's going to go out with a bang. This is Second Edges 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their, and their destruction draw of nigh. So these people that are dwelling in this world. The sword and destruction is, is close. It says, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hand. Different nations going to be fighting each other. There's going to be class, class uh, skirmishes. There's going to be uh, people going crazy because they can't eat, because they don't have food, you know, starving, thirsty. And it says, for there shall be sedition among men. Sedition among men is speech that incites you to, to go against the authority. So these people are going to, it's going to be people out here putting it in the minds of other people to not uh, respect or adhere to what the authority had to say. It doesn't matter if it's the president, your governor, your mayors, your senators. Nobody's going to be listening to them people. And men shall be invading. among. Therefore, there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their, of their actions shall stand in their power. So these people are not, again, they're not going to regard any of these people that are over them, but they're going to do what's in their power. Again, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of the pride, their pride, the city shall be troubled and houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And this is a, this is a, this is a, this is a good example of that. This is why you want to have the military in these particular parts. Not only are they going to be, you know, rounding up people. But they or putting people down, you're gonna have um them guarding uh sensitive areas, you know, particularly revenue areas, you know. When you go again, this is gonna be a common occurrence. It says a man shall desire to go into a city 
and shall not be able. Why? Because they're going to be things like this. There's going to be things like this going on, and you're not going to be able to go in. Then you got the situation with the smart city. I mean, the so-called strong cities. Uh, these different locations within the cities, you're not going to be able to move around freely like you're doing. They got something called the 15 minute cities. Now, how do you think these this de this devil is going to push this? Well, he's going to use his armies. He's going to use his military, men and women, okay, to go against their own people. A lot of people believe that these military people ain't going to go against their own people, but they will. But then you're going to have other military uh, uh, organizations from around the world uh, including all of NATO, swarming out on here, man. You know, and they're gonna usher in that that the NWO. Okay, you're gonna have the MOTB being pushed on people via these camps, via these other situations where the money is gonna uh, collapse. Again, people are talking about the CBDC, that central bank digital currency, and and July July is right around the corner, in a couple of weeks, they're supposed to be pushing. Uh, that whole Fed and L system and all of that. So again, the CBDC will be ushered in when there is a bank failure, and there's going to be a major bank failure, and there could be these EMPs, electric magnetic posts, happening. But there's a lot of things happening. Yep. Yeah. It says I've never seen military come in to a fixed freeway. Just interesting. Uh, people talk about love and freedom. Ain't no freedom, you know, for you here. These people are out of here. Uh, it says, uh, seeing military helicopters over the houses today. Uh, no mistaken, I guess it was. It says, everyone prepare now. They are positioning up in all major cities. For it. It's for American citizens. UN won't be far behind. And then we just said that. Okay, so martial law is coming, all right, and the finale of this movie is coming, but the ultimate finale of this movie is going to be when Yahweh Shah returns with the, the chariots and the angels to destroy this man and his system and these militaries, okay, because this ain't, this ain't, when you see the, uh, when Jacob's trouble happens and all this, all this uproars happen and these military personnel moving in, that's just the beginning of the end of the, uh, the beginning of the finale of the movie. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a major portion, but it ain't the finale. The finale is coming soon. So that would say shalom on to the next.